Welcome to the first video for castles and catacombs. We are going to be making pocket walls. Pocket walls are great because they are the most versatile Torino pieces to date. Using this pocket in the middle of the wall, you can have it be, well, just a wall. You can have it be an archway that you can have your players walk through. You can have it be an arrow slit. You can have it be a window. You can have it be some kind of cool textured piece that you print out from the Castles and Catacombs manual. Or you can even have it light up. The possibilities for this are almost limitless. And I'm gonna to try to show you as many of those as possible. But first we're gonna start out with just making the pocket walls themselves. So let's get started. Pocket walls. They are easily the most versatile Torino pieces in all of Torino. -dom. You can see here that basically what they are is they are an exterior with some cutout bits and then an interior section that has a little void where you can put other items. And you'll notice all these items that are sitting there on screen right now are all made from that one template on the left. And that's because that one template on the left can make single height walls, double height walls, and walls with or without openings, and walls with different shapes of, of the openings depending on what parts of the template you choose to use and not use. And the fun really begins once you start realizing just how many things you can actually make with this combination of pocket walls and inserts for those pocket walls. So here you can see I just made one that's just a general archway. And here are the windows we'll be making in another video. Or you could just do a piece of foam with some texture and paint on it like this. And notice how different it looks depending on what you're putting it in. Here's also a printed version from the textures that come with the Castles and Catacombs manual. And this is the needlepoint material we use for the Taverns and Towns manuals, and you can also use those as a pocket insert. And here's cardboard, uh, also great option. And if you have the Trino Tech and Torches manual, you can use light pockets. Now they slide into those little kind of notches on the bottom there and allow you to light up things like windows. And it looks really cool at the table, it really, really does. So we're gonna start off by making a double height window. And that means that we're gonna be using four inch strips of ready board. And these are pre-textured with a brick texture. And you can learn more about making these brick textures super fast in the Castles and Catacombs manual. And I'm gonna cut out the sides, each side a little differently of this wall, just so you can kind of see while I'm using that same pattern, by cutting out different bits of that pattern, I'm gonna get two different looking walls. So on this first face, I'm gonna do these long uh, windows, all long continuous windows. But on the second one, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna make one wide kind of arched window on the top there in the middle, and then narrower individual windows on the bottom. And the fun is experimenting with these things to come up with your own combinations or your own designs. And you can do that all just by using this one template. Now for the interior, notice that there's a scaffolding there. There's, there's a couple of horizontal, actually there's four horizontal scaffolding pieces. Keep the, that in mind because we're going to be removing those shortly. And then we're just going to cut out the bits that we don't need, leaving the scaffolding in place. Be sure to cut out those one those little two notches there because that'll show you exactly where the scaffolding piece is to remove later. And then we're just going to glue that interior piece to one of the exterior walls. Now you want to make sure you get glue on the bottom part of the interior piece there because we want to make sure that when we cut out that scaffolding there that that middle bit of the interior piece doesn't fall off. And that's just a matter of lining up the interior to the exterior. Giving it a good squeeze to make sure everything kind of sticks together there. Especially that middle piece. And then once that's dry, we'll cut out the scaffolding. It's always a good idea to hold uh, the bits down the bottom there while you're cutting them because they're going to be a little delicate until we cover them with quick coat. 
And then don't forget those two other pieces of scaffolding across there in the middle on the top. And then to finish it off, we just got to glue on the other exterior piece. There you go, ready for paint. And you paint these the exact same way you would any basics walls. So if you wanted to look at that, check out the Torino Basics construction manual that'll show you how to use the dip and dry method. And you see here that you, can, you have a lot of options now for inserts into this wall. Now the procedure is very similar for a single height wall. Just keep an eye on those notches there. That's to show you where to line up the template when you're doing a single height wall. Now in this case, I'm using the bottom half of this template but there's no reason I couldn't use the top half and make a series of arched windows on a single height wall too. And here you wanna make sure you're using the bottom bit of the interior part of the wall, because that's gonna make sure that we're gonna have the scaffolding and those little slots on the bottom if you wanna add light pockets to this later. and then you just glue it up just like you did for the double height wall. And remove the scaffolding for those two light pocket areas there and also at the top. And glue the last piece of the exterior on. And that's pretty much it. And you can see you can add these windows just like you did for the double heights and any kind of texture foam bits and they all just work great. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting.